to also honor uh, Elizabeth who spoke yesterday. Um, since I saw her like two years ago, I can, you know, she's right on track with lots of things. And some of the things is making men aware in this community that uh, women are not objects, okay? They are not just here to fulfill your desires and your needs. If you look at women like partnering with their energies and really looking at co-creating, as far as I'm concerned, it becomes much more interesting. It's not just you going and taking, there is a partnership, there is a co-creation. Now, when you get these tools, it's totally up to you to take full responsibility on how you use them. But there are lots of things that you can do with them. Some of them are, can be even abusive, you know, can be really uh, disrespectful to women, and some of them will be really honoring them. So, it's what she was saying yesterday, with greater power comes greater responsibility. And depending on the choice that you make, there will be karmic consequences. It means that there is a response to your actions, to the actions that you take. And I'm not, I'm not saying this to scare you. You know, it's just part of the, the dynamics. And we live in a world where uh, the feminine consciousness has been abused a lot by male power. I mean, really, really a lot. Look around. Look in other countries. You know, you go to uh, some countries in Africa, one in four women has been raped. Even more, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not nice. So, as guys gaining power, if we stand and defend those values, you know, the values of uh, feminine beauty and uh, look at women as, you know, a reflection of uh, ourselves, then we enter into a very different dimension and a different story. And I think that that's another point that we have to get, we have to get it right to keep on evolving as a human race. So this is honoring the feminine.